control What's up? Mason here, back on the Synthedelic channel. This time it's gonna be a Megadeth tone, Countdown to Extinction. I think it did a lot better on this tone than I did on my Rust in Peace tone. I think this is a little more accurate. The main difference to me is that I couldn't get rid of a lot of the boomier bass, like the, um, when you hit the palm mutes, how it rings out like the woo, woo. I couldn't remove as much of that as I wanted to, but I got it to a pretty nice place where it's not overpowering everything. So let's hop into the Tone Studio and check it out. I started with the same patch preset that I had for my Rust and Peace Tone and I worked it from there. And that tone, I did start with the R-Fire Vintage Sneaky Amp, which is supposed to be a dual rectifier in vintage mode. I've got 20 on the gain, 61 bass, 41 middle, 60 treble, 32 presence with a vintage cabinet resonance. And this is the basic sound with none of the effects or boosters being added. not got a whole lot going on it's a nice starting tone though I'm using chain 4 2 I'm using the Senta OD booster just like I did in my rest in peace one the controls are a little different I got 55 drive plus 6 tone minus 50 bottom uh, 50 effect level I got this graphic EQ pretty weird just what I was just moving it around as I'm listening to it, just back and forth, back and forth. I got plus three 125 hertz, plus five 500 hertz, plus eight one kilohertz, plus nine two kilohertz, plus six four kilohertz, plus seven eight kilohertz, and plus 12 16 kilohertz with the level at minus five. And with that, it sounds like this. <laughs> I have a parametric EQ in the FX slot, plus four low gain, 80 hertz low cut, boosting 100 hertz by 7 dB with the Q at eight, taking away 630 hertz by 4 dB with the Q at 16. No high cut, no high gain, level's the same. I'm using delay one to double your input. It's, it sounds more like the recording to me when I'm playing and it's there's a double of me playing on top of that. It just sounds a little thicker. There's just just that doubling delay. So because it's coming before the amp, the delay is coming in to the EQ section and your main direct mix is both, they're both coming into the amp at the same time instead of coming after the amp like a regular delay would. Here's with both. I'm not using delay two. I have plate reverb turned on. This is because I was listening to Symphony of Destruction and those beginning hits, there's a lot of reverb going on and I just think it's there throughout most of the songs. I got 1.9 reverb time, 30 millisecond pre-delay, 500 hertz low cut, no high cut, density is at six, the effect level is at 47 and the direct mix is at 100. I have the solo turned on for the solo EQ. I have a 100 hertz low cut, not boosting the low gain, I'm taking away 4, 4 dB of 250 Hz with the Q at 16. I have a high cut at 10 kHz. I'm using Contour 2 with the frequency shift at 47. These two global EQs here, the first one is in amp out position. 
I have it the low cut at 100, boosting low gain by plus 2. At 800 hertz, I'm taking away 7 dB with the Q at 4. At 1.25 kilohertz, I'm taking away 4 dB with the Q at 4. I have a high cut at 10, boosting the high gain by plus 2 with the level at plus 7. On this next global EQ, I have the low gain plus 3. The low cut at 100, I'm boosting up 1.6 kHz by 7 with the Q at 1, taking away the Beehive that is 8K by 6 dB with the Q at 1, 10 kHz high cut and I'm boosting the level by plus 3. The noise disperses on 50, release on 0, and that is the tone. To record the sound demo, I'm going through an SM58 into my Behringer mix board, and that's recording into FL Studio this time. I don't have any of the EQ settings on the Behringer mixer changed, they're straight up and down. This is the microphone placement, and I'm not doing any post-processing at all to the recordings. What is coming out of that speaker is exactly what you are hearing. So let me know what you think of the tone. Also let me know if you want me to keep including the bass and drums in the mixes. I just think it's a little more fun. If you like the tone, leave a like on the video. If you want to see more tones from me, hit the subscribe button. The next one's probably going to be Alice in Chains. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. I might do a community poll about it. Thanks for watching, and until the next one...